long, long ago, when myth was fact and magic was real. Santa was king of the Arctic colonies, and all those under his rule revered him as you would a god. His queen stood by his side in all endeavours, and they were blessed with four sons. For many years, there was peace, prosperity, and wealth. But there was one of Santa's favoured courtiers who believed himself above all others, a creature with cunning and ruthless ambition. Resentment spread like fire, engulfing the community. Santa saw the coming storm, but was unable to slow its advance. A being designed for one thing was now programmed for another. Santa knew he had to be stopped, so exiled him from the kingdom. But this conflict was too great, even for Santa and his army. A battle ensued like no other that had been seen before. After a long and bloody war, many souls were lost, two of them being his youngest sons. On returning home, Santa discovered his wife, disemboweled, slit from throat to pelvis, strung up and displayed in a ghastly show of force. Santa was destroyed, his heart shattered. He was consumed with revenge, intent on merciless retribution, determined to finally end the war. They captured Jack alive and subjected him to immeasurable pain and suffering. Finally, Santa thrust the knife deep into Jack's body. Santa ordered his dismemberment, each piece to represent his own shattered heart. At the very ends of the kingdom and beyond, each piece was buried deep beneath hallowed ground but there was one rider who was swayed by the power that was held within his box. This caused a disruption in the ritual. For if those pieces were ever to be reunited, there would be no way of preventing more bloodshed. Upon his death, and without having discharged his duty, an essence of Jack's spirit was liberated from the ritual. Balance had not been restored, and there followed a cold like no other. This is now known as the Great Frost. Santa was unaware of the rider who had betrayed him by not burying the piece of Jack, and therefore believed the Great Frost was a result of his own pride. No, you two go on ahead. Get everything we need. I'll bury this. No, Dad! Just go. Go! Ugh. <sighs> 
no, no, don't close. Stay there. I I'll be right back. Oh, Laurie, it really hurts. Oh, good God! What do you think you're doing? Ah! 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 You think you can bury me, and then I'll go away? It doesn't work like that. You can't bury me. Here. 
Get back here. This is what you need. Give it to me. Over my dead body. You fail to understand the irony of that statement. I will be back for you, one Christmas Eve when you least expect it. Geez, Dad, sure got a lot of stuff. Looks like it's like stuck in the winter. winter. Shops are closed for two days, but we need to be prepared. You'll thank me later when everyone else has run out of mince pies and we're the only ones on the street who still have any. <laughs> Mum, are you hearing this? Dad reckons the whole neighbourhood's gonna run out of food and we'll have to ration what we've got. Like we're the clergy and this is goodwill. Clergy? I have my robes upstairs. I think I'd make a superb man of the cloth. Oh. <laughs> Why do you have all this stuff? Don't be disrespectful. That's your grandmother's. Mm. Ooh. I'll take these. Thanks, Dad. I didn't ask for that. Damn it, Pepper. What? I thought you were in the kitchen. I was, now I'm here. Oh, don't sneak up on me. Just one swipe <laughs> with my super stealth reaction death hand and you'd be flat on the floor before you'd even realise that my hand had moved. <laughs> if that is for me though, Mum, you seriously don't know me very well. <laughs> it's for Laura. Laura? Mm-hmm. Is she coming? Yeah. Her mum has gone to Cuba with her new toy boy, so she's spending Christmas with us. Why did no one ask me first? This is not a democracy, and you don't get to vote until you're 18. At least. You know her and I don't get on. It's only for a few days, and you're about the same age. You'll find things to talk about, boys and TV shows. I'm not 12 anymore. You'll always be my little girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so extra. <laughs> Oh, all right. Oh, my God. I need to get out of here. Bye. She is definitely your daughter. No, no, no. You can't pin that one on me. She's definitely your daughter. How so? She has your attitude. You mean flippant? Are you calling me flippant? You can be hard-headed at times. Mm, you just keep digging that grave, James. You know I love you. Mm, you called me flippant. No, I called you carefree. Mm. You called yourself flippant. Just keep twisting those words, Mr. English teacher. Professor, are you denigrating my profession? Well, you chose it. Now that does hurt my feelings. <laughs> you know I love my sexy English professor. Well, maybe later I'll show you my detention. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Hey, Mum. 
malady. Didn't think you were coming down today. I needed the exercise. Oh, you're right. I'm okay. Just that time of year, you know. Yeah, I know. Um, I uh, had something we wanted to discuss. Oh. Um. Yeah. Um. We've got Laura coming to stay for a few days, and well. You know, it's not a surprise that her mum does the whole Christmas thing. OK, I know. Which means that Laura celebrates Christmas. Are you saying that... I think we should. You know why I don't? I know. And we never have. And it's not fair. Fair? There's nothing fair about that maniac killing my family and all the half, half the people down my street. You know what happened. I've told you many times. But Peppa has never had a proper Christmas. You know, I know we do the small things like gifts, but she's never had a proper tree. She's never sung Christmas carols. And, well, I don't think it's fair to take that magic away from someone. You know why we don't celebrate Christmas. I can't believe you would even think about I know, and you don't have to join in. I just thought it would be nice for the girls. <laughs> Mum? <coughs> Are you all right? Come here. Come here. How, how, how could you do this to me? Hey. I'm not doing this. Oh, I brought you up better than this. I sent you to self-defence classes so that you would be prepared. I am prepared. If anything happens, I'm prepared. I don't want any, any part, part of, of it. it. But, but you, you can't, can't just stay in your room, room all day. It's, it's safer, safer that way. way. Safer how? <laughs> Just because you listen to a few Christmas carols, it doesn't mean to say that Jack is going Don't to Don't you dare say his, his name. name. You, know you know my, my thoughts, thoughts on this. I think it's irresponsible. It's only one day. One day is all it takes. One day ruined my life. Is this your idea? I, uh... It, it, it was, was my, my idea. idea. I'm sorry. Sorry. This isn't, isn't good, good enough. enough. Hi, Uncle James. Come in, it's freezing out there. Hey. Oh. Patty, hiya. I bought your Christmas card. You didn't have to be free to. Oh, oh, it's not very amiable of me not to deliver it to you personally. <laughs> well, thank you. I will drop yours off later. Oh. Thank you, but there's no hurry. Although it is um, Christmas Day tomorrow, but I, I've got a few errands to run, anywho. <laughs> I got those too. How very strange. Perhaps it's 
one of the newer neighbours having a party or something. Uh, trying to be all hip and down with the kids with that creepy note. <laughs> But in letter form. Have a lovely evening. Bye, love. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. The more the merrier. <laughs> Perhaps upstairs if I can go and say hello. But that's okay. I'll, I'll just stay down here with you. Yes, of course. I may have a surprise for you as well. I didn't think your family did stuff like this. We're switching it up this year. Is that okay with Alma's mum? She'll come around. You want to help decorate it? Yeah.
to help me. Oh, Lord in heaven! It's okay, there are plenty more to go on. Are you not even interested in helping? Not really. Well, how do you know if you never even tried? Well, that's your fault. You never wanted to do this before, so why now? Laura's here. This is supposed to be a family thing. Yeah, but why now? We never did this because of Nan, because of some religious reason or something, so... No, we never did it because your grandmother suffered a tragedy on Christmas Eve. Right. So then why doesn't Laura just skip it for a year? Why are you being like this? No, I'm not. I'm just... We have someone over for Christmas and suddenly we celebrate it. When for years I've been the crazy, weird girl who hates Christmas because of something that happened to my nan God knows how many years ago. And come on. I think you're being a tad ungrateful. You know what? I'm gonna get an early night. Peppa! No, I will see you in the morning. It's not your fault. You, you didn't need to do this for me. It's not even a big deal in my family. Don't be silly. We just want to make it nice for you. And we've never done this before. Anyway, sorry. You wouldn't even be doing this if it wasn't for me. Let's just finish this off. It's looking really good so far. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hello, dear. Did you not want to join in with them downstairs? I just think it's really unnecessary. It's just one day. It'll be over soon. Just like all the others. I want you to have this. Tell you everything you need to know. Promise me you'll read it. Promise. Tonight, if possible. Okay. Good night, Nan. for doing this. Things haven't felt very Christmassy for a while. Ever since Dad left, we haven't really done anything festive. I don't really like Mum's new boyfriend. Your mum always has been impulsive. But to be honest, she hasn't really mentioned him. He makes a lot of money. Mm. Anyway, um, 
I think I'm gonna go to bed too. Maybe Pepper and I can watch a Christmas movie in bed. Laura, Pepper will come around. She takes after her mum. Good night. Good night. Good night, Laura. What are you doing? Turn 21. Where are you going? Just going to see some friends. Well, when will you be back? Jeez, Mum. What's with all the questions? What if your mum and dad ask me where you are? They won't. We'll be back before the presents in the morning. OK. What? No, it's not that. What is it then? I sent a message to my mum and she hasn't responded. Okay, well, you can come with us if you want. Look, we'll put on a movie or something. It's loud enough so that they can't hear. Mum and dad won't come in. Thank you. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. I, I won't. Can I ask, do you actually know what really happened? Tell you what I've told you, that my grandparents died on Christmas Eve 50 years ago. I mean, not talk about it. <laughs> Mm. I'll just enjoy the quiet for a bit longer. We never talk about this. We never, we never talk, talk about, about it. Because, because it's, it's a bad, bad time, time in my life. life. All the stories and the secrets. secrets. I'm, I'm being, being frightened, frightened all the time. It's exhausting. But does anyone know who it was? Hmm. I said, Mum thinks it was some sort of mystical creature, being, Jack Frost, like a fairy tale. But that's not what you think. <laughs> no, I don't think that because that would be crazy. But Mum was so young. She was, oh Christ, Pepper's age? That's got to play with your mind. No, I think it was some deranged serial killer who did it and killed all of them in the street and got away with it. But that was 50 years ago, so hopefully he's dead and buried by now. And Leslie's still suffering even after all these years. Mm-hmm. Don't think you can put a time limit on grief. Wow. That must have been horrific. Yeah. And then, of course, you sent my sister and I to weapons training, self-defense classes. Wow, that was exhausting. Definitely affected me. I think her paranoia rubbed off on me, which is why I've never wanted to celebrate Christmas. Yeah, it's like an albatross that hangs around my neck. Kudos for the literary analogy. Mm, thank you. So you do listen to me sometimes. <laughs> mm, sometimes I listen. Sometimes I switch off, because sometimes I'm really not that interested in what you've got to say, but I do respect your passion. At least you can say you can handle yourself in a fight. Mm. I could take you on any time. I bet you could. <laughs> <laughs> I can keep you safe, you know. Mm. Shut up and eat your biscuit. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, finally. Sorry, ladies. Um, what's that? My cousin Laura. Laura, this is Sophie, Tara, and Lily. Is she reliable? She won't tell. Okay. She doesn't know what we have in store yet. <laughs> if my dad finds out, he'll kill all of us. Oh, no one's going to find out. And no one's dying tonight. <laughs> Good. Take a seat then. Um, we have sweets and vodka. I'll just pass me a drink. Anybody know a good ghost oh. story? <laughs> oh, no. I have one. I know that book. My nan gave me that. Why have you got it? I was just reading it. I hope that's okay. Knock yourself out. I wasn't going to read it anyway. Well, what does it say? Uh, let's see. Um. It looks like there was a big battle centuries ago in the Arctic. Strange. It's in the ingredients. I don't like them either, but wouldn't be more wine without them. That. There aren't any lights on in any of the other houses in the street. Strange. Looks like a power cut. <laughs> well, it probably is. And then I didn't hear the generator kick in, so it can't be a power cut. Maybe they've all gone to bed early, hoping that Santa will drop off their presents first. You just be serious for a minute. Jeez, I'm sure it's fine. You do worry a lot. I didn't like that story. Yeah, I've listened to all stories about Jack Frost growing up and I've never heard any of that stuff. It's just a story. Yeah, that Santa's real. Who do you think brought you all those ponies that you wanted when you was a girl? No one bought me ponies. Case in point. He's not real, that's what I'm saying. Oh, clever. Okay, on that note, I'm going for a wee. Don't go far. I'm going for a piss, not a hike. <laughs> yeah. Are we safe here? We always have been before. No, I mean, from, you know. <laughs> Don't you tell me you're scared. Staying at this creepy church, Christ knows, let the face could show up or something. I don't really like horror stories. Oh, firstly, you need to stop watching horror movies. Secondly, why did you ask if anyone has a horror story? I don't know. I just didn't think any of you guys would have a scary story to tell. Well, lucky for you, monsters don't exist. Do they, Laura? Yeah, there's no such thing as monsters.
She's probably on the phone to her family, boring them about some such or other. It's his Christmas Eve, after all. Oh, the lights are out. Patty wouldn't be sitting there in the dark. She's not like that. I wouldn't worry. But I am worried. I mean, what if something's happened to her? Do you want me to go and check on her? No. No, I'll go. What was that? I don't know. Probably so falling into her own piss pot or something. No. no. That didn't sound right. Soph? I don't like this. Grab your torches. Sophie, this isn't funny. Guy, I think we should get back inside. No, she's just been a dick. Come on, this isn't funny taking the piss out of an Anne's psycho background. Hey, cut this out, come on. Patty? Patty?
ಬರ್ತಾ ready for the Christmas celebration. my Christmas presents early this year.
But, um, it says somewhere in the book that, um, that you can create an army. That you can take over your vessel if you're open to it. What have you got there? Bad idea. Hiding in a church, alone. Now, are you gonna come here? Because I really can't keep chasing you. Stay back! Oh. She doesn't want to go down easy, huh? Well, I'm a bit worn out. So how about we settle this now? <laughs> That'll stop you. We have to help her. We need to get help. We can't just leave her. What are you gonna do? Take on that maniac? We've got to do something. The best thing we can do is get help. There you are. I just want to give you a present. So if you don't have to do this. It's Christmas. It's dark. Run! <laughs> Jack Frost. 
Mom, Mr. Ryan. Mom, Mr. Ryan. What does this mean? I don't know how, but, but something is happening. What do you mean? Who you knew about this? I, I found Betty. No, she, she's, she's dead. God. And now I'm here to complete your oath. I knew I'd see you again. It's been long enough, Leslie. I told you I'd be back. You thought you outsmarted me last time, but you can't fool me with the same trick again. Where is it? Somewhere you'll never find it. I don't need you to find it. Just look at the time. Well, well, well. Looks like I get to stick around a little longer. What happened? What, what do we, what we, do we need do to now? get out of here. I'll go and get the car. Okay, I'll come with you. No, you're staying here. No way. You need someone to look out for you. Okay, but stay close. Any time in trouble, you run. I'm going to get the car. I'll be right back. Your eyes open. Oh, 
So if we melt him and let him soak into hollow ground, we might still be able to stop him. It says here that he's at his most vulnerable when he's vaporized or in vapor form. So as long as he's not whole, we might still have time. Alba? Alba. Look, I know this is hard, but we need you. We need you to be you again, because we can't do this without you. But you need to suck it up and mourn later. And you need to help me work out what to do, because we, we are counting on you. Did your mum not prepare you for this? Still time. Where did she hide it? I have no idea. You will be one better than anyone. No, I don't know where to start. One minute, I want to make sure it doesn't cut out. <laughs> Are we ready to go? Yes!
open doors. Brent! What do we do now? He's looking for the last part of his body. He wants to become whole again. Okay, so where do we find it? It says here that his body parts have been scattered all over the world in the hopes that he'd never be reunited with them and get back to his full power. It says that Santa's descendants are the gatekeepers of each piece. Which means, what? You're related to Santa. Hold the fight. You're telling me that we're related to the big red guy with the beard. It looks like that. Yeah. That's some claim to fame. Okay, so what do we do now then? Well, we could wait the night out until he goes into hibernation for another year? No, 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 I don't want to take that chance. If he finds it before we do, we'll never be able to stop him. We, we've got to find it first. How? How do we find it? Well, your, your mum must have hidden it somewhere, where it's the last place that people would think to look. No, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty slim. She was always in her room or down at the old church by Grandad's grave. Oh, God, you genius. A hallowed, hallowed ground, the last place anybody would look. <sighs> yeah, and then if we get there first, we could use it as leverage, back it into a corner and then vaporise it. Yeah, my thoughts, exactly. Yeah. <sighs> what a crazy night. <laughs> For you to say, I've dug more earth than you. Oh. Touche. Ow. It's got to be it. Quickly. Let's get this done. I've got it. Right in time. Whenever you're ready, Jack. I could smell you before I saw you. The smell of fear. I have what you want. Just like that. Leave. Pepper and Laura out of this. If I give you what you want, you have to promise this ends here. This sounds familiar. You do know what I'm going to be capable of when I obtain this final piece. Do we have a deal? If you give me what I want, I promise to leave them alone.
You're really going to hand it over, just like that. Huh? No! No! That's the last of it. No idea. According to the book, it could find you through your bloodline. Do you think there's more? Like us? Great, great grandchildren of Santa? Maybe you're the last. There was only one piece of Jack left. What do we do with this? Bury it. Bury it deep. Rip off every single digit and bury it around the country. I'm proud of you. Both of you. You did something amazing tonight. You saved Christmas. <laughs> You're still <so> cringe, man. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> Thank you.